Hi, my name is Thomas, and you're watching Casual DIY channel. Today, guys, just a really quick video, an update on my Cyclone dust extraction system. Basically, we'll check if it was worth making it or not. Check out the video. I've done this system in about middle of March and I've emptied the cyclone bin three times. This will be um, number four. Uh, I don't think it's actually full. That's, uh, that window is quite handy because you more or less can see how much dust there is in it. So quite a cool feature. If you've got an old uh, dust extraction and the engine died, you can transform it into uh, just the bin for the dust. And you can have a plexiglass there just to see uh, where you are with your dust but carry on so basically what we're gonna check if there's any dust in the vacuum now I've not opened it since I've created the whole system I know it's not focused from time to time just move it around and see if this if it's heavy or not which is an indication if it's full or not so let's check it out let's open the vacuum and see if it is empty half full or full let's see Right, big moment, let's have a look. Oh no, the cable's in the way, I can't open it. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Well guys, that is, that's, um, that's fantastic. I think I managed to suck in a uh, piece of uh, paper somehow. Well, look at that. After emptying the bin four times, that's how much there is in the main vac. That's absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Just a little bit of dust right at the bottom. So wow guys, that's actually far, far better than I ever expected. Uh, let's just check out inside uh, how much I've got still room. If I have to empty it now, or can I wait another week? I think I've got at least another week to uh, before I need to empty that. So just to let you know what I've actually mainly used it for. So I was mainly using my uh, planar thickness uh, um, Metabo one uh, scaffolding planks and ash um, ash planks. So um, so a bit of hardwood, a bit of softwood, and obviously a lot of sanding, as you can see in this drum. Um, there's actually a lot of fine dust. Now I was expecting that the fine dust will actually get its way to the vac, but as we can see, it didn't. So that's fantastic. So all in all, guys, I think I've paid for that about 15 or 20 quid or something like that. And obviously I had the drum from my old vac. So all in all, it's a fantastic saving because I don't have to buy the cartridges because they will get damaged over time if you're actually just using the shop vac and they will get clogged up. I know some of them you can wash, but after some time you will have to change them anyway. And that's more or less 20 quid a pop for the one I've got anyway. So that is a big saver. And the air quality, I can feel it's better. I can't actually tell you, give you any figures because I don't have any uh, device that will tell me if the um, air quality is better. But I think yeah, I can actually see it after looking at my tools that they're not covered in a thick layer of dust. So this is definitely working fantastic. Guys, if you've not seen this video, how I made the whole system, I'm just going to link it above and obviously down below. So I just thought I'm going to make a quick video for you guys just to tell you if the system was working or not. Uh, I was curious myself. So uh, there you go. It's working. It's working fantastic. So if you haven't got your Cyclone system and if you've got the ability to do it, go for it. It's definitely worth it. 
But for now guys, that's all. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next woodworking adventure. Till then, take care.